Dear students, today we are talking about types of reproductions. Types of reproduction. There are two types of reproductions. One is called asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction. And the second one is called sexual reproduction. There are two types of reproductions. One is called asexual reproduction and the other one is called sexual reproduction. So we go in the first we start with asexual reproduction. The meaning of asexual reproduction it is the formation of Half springs, formation of half springs are the egg ones from a single organism. Formation of half springs from a single organisms. Formation of half springs from a single organisms. This is called as asexual reproduction. Now, we are talking about some of the points related to asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction always involves only one parent. Asexual reproduction involves a single parent. Single parent or one parent See, hence it is called uniparental. I repeat this. Asexual reproduction takes place by a single parent, or we call it as single parent, call it as uniparental. But very important is in this asexual reproduction, formation of gametes never takes place. Formation of gametes. The gametes are not formed. The formation of gametes never takes place. Hence, it is called as a gametogenesis. A gametotelosis, or we use a word a gameto gamo. Genesis of a gamo genesis. A gameto genesis. A gamo genesis or a gamo genesis. The meaning of this the gametes are not formed during the asexual reproduction. Next. Thing. In this reproduction, there is no fertilization. Fertilization is totally absent. When there is no gametes, automatically no fertilization takes place. Next one. Formation of young ones takes place from the somatic cells. Formation of young ones it takes place from the somatic cells. Somatic cells may be even called as vegetative cells or we use the word body cells. In this, in this vegetative cells, always the cell division, cell division always may be mitosis or it may be a mitosis. So here, reproductions, asexual reproduction takes place in vegetative cells and this cells divide either by mitosis in some organisms and a mitosis in majority of the organisms. Next, here the young ones, half springs are always similar to the parents, similar to the parents, always the half springs produced in asexual reproduction will be similar to the parents. They look like exact copy. Jarak's copy.
copy of the parent. Hence, they are called as clones. The half prints are called as clones. The meaning of clone? The clone is morphologically morphologically and genetically similar morphology or morphologically and genetically similar to the parent similar to the parent is called as clones I like to repeat this clones of anyone's of asexual reproduction they are always morphologically genetically similar to the parents next step Next point. Always the somatic cell divisions always it will be rapid in in asexual reproduction. I repeat this. The somatic cells helps in asexual reproduction and the divisions will be rapid. Next. Asexual reproduction always takes place in the Asexual reproduction always takes place in the unicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms. And it also takes place in lower plants. The lower plants may be in the form of algae, fungi. And in some of the Animals also, asexual reproduction takes place like sponges and hydra. So this is about asexual reproduction. Now, one more word, very important word. The unicellular organisms are always called as immortal. Unicellular organisms are always called as Immortal. The meaning of immortal, there is no death for unicellular organisms because the unicellular organisms undergoes binary fission or it undergoes asexual reproduction and the parent cell is split into two daughter cells. So there is no death for the unicellular organisms. So we use or we say that unicellular organisms are always called as immortal, no death for unicellular organisms. So this is about asexual reproduction. Now we will step into the next word called as sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is the second type of reproduction. In the sexual reproduction, the formation of offsprings in the sexual reproduction, formation of offsprings or young ones are produced are produced by the fusion of gametes by the fusion of gametes from two different parents from two different parents I repeat this Sexual reproduction, it is the formation of n ones formation of offsprings, produced by the fusion of gametes from the two different parents. Now, we will talk about sexual reproduction always takes place by two different parents, takes place by two different parents. Hence, it is always called as biparent. I repeat thus, sexual reproduction takes place by two parents and it is always called as biparental. In majority of the cases, one of the parent is called as a male parent and the other one is called as female parent. Hence, it is called as biparental. Next, the formation of the formation of gametes takes place. 
in the sexual reproduction, formation of gametes is a very very important act. The male parent, the male parent produces male gametes called as sperm in some of the higher animals and humans and in plants we use a word pollen tree and this gametes are always haploid. The meaning of haploid only one set of gametes, only one set of chromosomes are produced. Next. In a female parent, in a female parent, the female gamete is always called as egg or ova in majority of the animals and even in humans it may be called as egg or ova. In a plant called as ovule, female gamete called as ovule and even this gamete is also called as haploid. So this is about formation of gametes. Next point. The fusion of the fusion of a male gamete and a female gamete. The fusion of male gamete and female gamete results with results with zygote. Results with zygote. The zygote is a zygote is a single cell. Zygote is a single cell but it is diploid. Diploid. The meaning of diploid? Two sets of chromosomes are there. One set is from the father and one set is from the mother. Hence, zygote, a single cell organism or single cell, we say diploid organism or diploid zygote. Next. The zygote undergoes repeated division. The zygote undergoes repeated mitotic divisions to give rise to a ball of cells. To give rise to a mass of cells called ball of cells or mass of cells called embryo. The formation of embryo Synthesis of embryo is called embryogenesis. Embryogenesis. Next. The embryo undergoes. The embryo undergoes repeated divisions to give rise to three germ layers. The outer one is called as ectoderm. The middle one is called as mesoderm. And inner one is called as endoderm. So here, outer is called as ectoderm, middle one is called as mesoderm, and endoderm. These three layers of cells give rise to a fundus. This fundus, after delivery, we use the word child. But very important point to be noted here. The offsprings never resemble the parents. They are genetically different. They are genetically different.